Today, I stand before you to address a matter of utmost importance, a matter that concerns the well-being of you and your loved ones. I want to talk about the gifts that may come your way, gifts that may seem attractive and enticing, but I urge you, do not accept them. These gifts, I believe, are sent by the devil himself, and I implore you not to ignore God's warning. As I conclude this motivational and inspiring speech, I would like to urge you to listen until the end, as I want to assure you that by embracing the wisdom behind, you will undoubtedly reap numerous benefits in your life. In a world filled with materialistic desires and instant gratification, it is easy to be swayed by the allure of gifts and possessions. We often find ourselves enticed by things that promise us happiness, success, and fulfillment. But what we fail to realize is that there are forces at work beyond our comprehension, forces that seek to lead us astray from the path of righteousness. The devil, also known as Satan, is a master of deception. He knows our weaknesses, our desires, and he uses them against us. He disguises his offerings as gifts, tempting us with their apparent benefits, all the while leading us away from God's plan for our lives. These gifts may come in various forms, wealth, power, fame, or even momentary pleasures. But make no mistake, they are nothing but traps laid out to ensnare us. God, in his infinite wisdom and love for us, warns us against falling prey to these deceptions. In the Bible, we find numerous passages that caution us about the devil's tactics. 1 Peter 5 verse 8 states, Be alert and of sober mind. Your enemy the devil prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. These words remind us to be vigilant, to be aware of the devil's schemes, and to resist his temptations. Accepting these gifts not only puts us in direct conflict with God's teachings, but also endangers our spiritual well-being. The devil seeks to separate us from God, to disconnect us from his love and guidance. By accepting these gifts, we willingly open the door to darkness, allowing evil to infiltrate our lives and harm our souls. But why does God warn us so strongly against these gifts? It is because he knows the true consequences of our actions. He understands the profound impact they can have on our lives and the lives of those we hold dear. These gifts may seem appealing at first, but they often lead to a downward spiral of destruction, bringing chaos and despair into our lives. I urge you today, do not let the devil deceive you. Do not accept these gifts that are sent to undermine your faith and your relationship with God. Stand firm in your convictions, rooted in the knowledge that God's love and protection are far greater than any temporary pleasure or worldly possession. Instead, let us turn our focus towards the gifts that God offers us, the gifts of love, forgiveness, grace, and eternal life. These are the gifts that truly matter, the gifts that bring lasting joy and fulfillment. Let us embrace the teachings of the Bible, seek God's guidance in our lives, and trust in His plan for us. In conclusion, my friends, I implore you to heed God's warning. Do not accept these gifts sent by the devil. They may seem enticing, but they come at a great cost, your spiritual well-being and that of your family. Embrace the gifts that God offers, for they are the ones that will lead you to true happiness and eternal life. May God bless you and keep you safe from the snares of the devil. Thank you.